Good morning. This is Wheel 789 GB, and this is the start of the Wild Show. Uh, I think Chris will be here about half past ten, and JD may be hiding around the corner somewhere. I don't know. I haven't seen him, uh, but he understands Facebook. I can't get into it at all. Uh, but we will need that later on. The Wild Show has got a Facebook page, uh, but uh, that will turn up. Uh, meanwhile, next week should be very a very good show. Uh, the Rushes are going to come, or at least one or two of them, and um, this is a good song. They've reactivated their Facebook page, and uh, there's, there's, there is, there's words appear in there. There's no information on any new music. But uh, perhaps, perhaps we can ask them, and they they might they might tell us. This is from last last year's uh, EP. It's called Dorian Gray. That's one chat by the by the rushes and, and Chris has arrived and JD has arrived. Yeah. They were lurking around at that side somewhere. So this is all good. Yeah. So next week, Chris. Yeah. I suggest. I mean, I'll start the show as normal. Till yeah. you arrive. You seem to have arrived, arrived very early this week, but I do. You will arrive at some point. Yeah. And then JD will arrive, uh, and I'm going to suggest to the rushes that they don't come till at least half past ten. Yeah. And probably quarter to 11. Yeah. But I think we should prevail on our producer to work that little bit harder and come this side of the desk. Do you think we, do you think you might? You, you're allowed to ask him. JD? Yes, sir. Do you think you'd like to go that side of the desk next Well, week? my fees do go up. Do I'm you afraid know? from half a P to another half a P. So can you afford it? Well, oh, I don't well. know how to with that. Well, all right. Well, we'll have to talk to the rushes about the rights in whatever they've got to say. Yeah. It's probably going to be Creative Commons, but uh, we'll see if we can get sponsorship for a commem- commemorating T-shirt or something. I don't know. There must be a way of getting some extra funds. But, for example, JD, you could cope if somebody phoned in, probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah you, you, could, you could cope with that. I, could, I think I can. All right. So Chris yeah. and I will, will work out some, some interesting questions. Hmm. Because we're not quite sure who from the Rushes will be here. Yeah. But that will clarify. I'm going to play another Rushes track uh, just because you were settling in on, the, on Dorian Gray. So I think this one's going to be Wisdom Teeth. Okay, the the rushes, wisdom teeth. JD, hello, you, sir. You've um, you've got your phone working. Yes, I have. Yes. And you found the Facebook page, the yes, Wild I Show have, Facebook yes. page. I have. And you found the link. Yes. So can you explain all of this? Because it's it's to do with um, access all aerials at Seal Hayden. Yes, it's Mr. Chris Bowden. He's yes. uh, doing a twenty-four hour breakfast <laughs> a 24 <laughs> hour no, it's a 24 hour programme in, in aid of the station which is fantastic there are lo- there are a couple of people going to do it in aid of something or other there's right. two DJs are going to do t- two different ones I've noticed so yes it's all go 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 and that's the next week I think and is that is that part of their five year event I don't know I, I think he's just right, raising money oh which is quite good because I thought, I thought you'd been invited to something or another. No, what? no, that's something else. Oh, that's something else? Yes. Oh. Yeah, here look. My name is Chris Bowden, and I have cerebral palsy. All my life I've dreamed of being a radio DJ, and this came true thanks to a radio station based in Devon. I'm challenging myself to complete a 24-hour show to raise money for this very special radio station called Axis Roll Aerials. There you go. All oh, right. Right, so this is just one of the things that's happening. Yes, he just, just fancy doing it. Oh, right. 
JD. Mm. I thought you were JD, not Chris Bowden. No, I think you need to put your glasses around the right way up. Uh, okay. <laughs> now, this picture here, which I'm looking at, is definitely Chris Bowden. Okay. I You're do know, JD. I know, I, I, <laughs> yeah, last time I checked. Ah, <laughs> ah. Well, I I just suggest we'd, we'd listen to that and also check it out, and the listeners should check it out as well because yes. there seems to be a lot going on there, and I couldn't get I couldn't find my way back to it, but I think I got to it through Twitter, or possibly Facebook. Um, quite a lot of, of old clips from the archives, some Carl Munson clips there, himself appearing as as a guest on a BBC local radio and talking about the joy of meditation and so forth quite a long time ago yeah and also i think um one of their events has got an exclusive intro to one of his old dance tracks but i'm not sure whether i stumbled upon a sort of archive that was ready for one of their broadcasts or whether you're supposed to find it and uh, when did you stumble across during the week okay during the week i found it and then i couldn't find it but it might turn up again. But I don't know, J- JD. What do you think is the etiquette if 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 a if a an FM radio mm-hmm. show has built up an archive of things they mean to play, mm-hmm. and they've used some online service to build it all up? Mm-hmm. Uh, if another radio show happened upon it, mm-hmm. do they have the opportunity of playing it out themselves? Would you think? Yes, I think so. <laughs> it depends on what you depends on what you're playing, doesn't it? Okay. So it's something which is uh, you can only play at night time, and you've got a day- daytime show. It's not applicable. Right. So if Carl's done an exclusive intro of one of his old tracks that he happened to be on, but he's done it for Access All Aerials, mm-hmm. and we happen to find it, mm-hmm. and I happen to play it, right? That would be quite all right. I think so, as long as you pay him the dues. Oh, oh, okay. half a pea okay. you'll be okay that's the and, going rate <laughs> and and if he's um, if he's appeared on a BBC local radio show you've got to pay Carl PRF <laughs> so what about the BBC local radio show as a guest does he have more rights than they do to his own sort of stuff do you think hmm. um, well it depends what he was talking he'd have rights to his stuff well I think he was talking about some sort of meditation at that time okay whether he'd explain it all the same way now I don't know but it, that was this is just what I can remember but it's it's very it's, it's strange isn't it you, you spend the week between these shows staring at the screen work, trying <laughs> to work out what's going on well and, some of us do so, and, and uh <laughs> Can you find it again? Uh, yes. <laughs> OK, you can. Yes, give me 25 years, yes. All right, all right. well, we may find it on another show. Do you have to give me well, some they, hints and I'll have they, a look they, for they, it? They may help us, might, do you mm. think, the, the Access All Aerials people? As long as we don't break any of their exclusives mm. or ruin their plans. Well, I think everything on, on, on a radio station, you, you go and put something on it, and uh, that's you. And I suppose, I don't know if they have rights. No idea. No. <laughs> Nobody's really come to me and said, can I play that? <laughs> no. Oh, did. Did he? Yeah, the reason you met Carl. No, I met... I met yes, you did. You, you, yeah. you did. You, 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 you asked Carl if you could reuse something that he'd already done. I and then he said, why yes. don't you come yes, back Yes, but I, I was moving it from one station to another station. So if you play it within the station, it's fine. This is... Uh, this is just what we was asking. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right. Okay. Well, well, perhaps we'll we'll just sort of clar- perhaps we'll we'll clarify with yes, Access All Aerials what they think. Yes. And then we may try and find some of these bits and pieces later on. You see, any of my programmes, you can do what the hell you like with. I don't mind. You don't mind. I don't mind at all, because. It's um, that's what they're there for, for entertainment. So you know, I have no copyright on what, what whatever. I only have copyright on Chris Norton. 
Ah, so you have the copyright on Chris <laughs> I have Norton. Co- I have copyright. Does he, rea- does he realise when you became no, no, producer exactly what no, he was he getting into? No, it's top secret. <laughs> ah, uh, no. That's why, he's, that's why he's trying to sack you, JD. No, that's why he's early. Yeah, because he's understood what was in the contract. <laughs> yes, <now. laughs> he's early, early oh, you see. Oh, dear. Uh, so I've t- I told him now, he's going to be early. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, anyway, I'm going to play uh, a track now by, um, by Spin 2 from long ago. Because one of the questions next week will be what what's going on? What are the origins of English folk music, and how do they affect modern pop and rock music? Because I noticed that at least one of the rushes is moonlighting. He's turning up with Spin Two in the high street on occasions. So anyway, I'll play this, and then uh, then we'll try and work out copyright and radio and all that sort of thing later on. <laughs> Well, I'm t- I've got about five minutes. I'm going to try and play um, Yak to Yak, the coasters, because I think there's saxophone in it. I'm not sure. We'll see. So, well, we're, t- we're just moaning and groaning about the post office at the moment. <laughs> You're, you're not going to move the grading. We're doing the grading. We're not going to move it. But look, getting back to the flow of the of the show, mm-hmm. the saxophone, because the the rushes have, have, have re- rediscovered the saxophone. Yeah, I think that's one of the things to ask them about next week. The saxophone. Well, they do have a saxophone, but they don't, they sort of mix it in more to the sound of it. Mm-hmm. They don't all stop for a saxophone solo in the middle. I don't think a solo piece. Well, that's what you'd expect, wouldn't you? Mm. But that yeah. doesn't seem to happen. It sort of mixes in during the whole thing. That's my impression of it. Anyway, so but the ladies and gentlemen audience, that I've lost both my co presenters into the into their phones. They've gone away, but they will I'm return. Look, I'm looking up. Oh, you're looking up. Yeah, I'm looking up. What you What are you going to find? Well, I was going to saxophonic. Oh, the sax. Oh, right. Okay. That's an well, album. <laughs> well, 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 we'll try and find out more about yeah. the saxophone as the show goes on. Yeah. But it's nearly time. Chris, but it's part of his contract with me, JD. I've, mm. I've got to stop by round about half past. Yes. And definitely. then, we, then we get ready for him to arrive properly. So uh, I'll just play one more. Um, is he here? He's, he is. He is here, but he's in. He's on the phone. Well, it's not on the phone. He's in the phone, really. Is in the <laughs> this is called. Um, <laughs> I am not inside my phone. <laughs> He'll be here very shortly, ladies and gentlemen. This is Electric Fizz. A, a special thing happened, I think, and you can tell me about this from your experience of it. But on a November day, November the sixth. 2013 i was in london tuning in you wasn't there no i was on a tube train or something and i was uh, and i was had fingers crossed in london hoping that everything was all right back in devon for the very first online broadcast of access all areas which is which was the 6th of november 2013 what was it like in the studio yes it was me brandon i think i don't think Rowan was there and then we went live for the first time yes and Proper, proper live. I mean, <laughs> it was amazing. That and was the beginning of an era, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm like, whoa, oh my god! And then it was like the numbers on our um, page has gone right up now. So it's yeah. Well, we're getting on for a quarter of a million, aren't we? Quarter of a million listens after wondering if it would be all right to do one show. Here we are with over fifty DJs, and I think a quarter of a million. Um, listens of all the shows it's amazing what's happened since 2013 and you mentioned there brandon mm. i think brandon deserves a really big shout out because he's such a yes, kind of brandon yeah he's been there all the time cool and i don't think he gets the credit he deserves with access all errors because he's such a sort of modest and and quiet bloke just getting on with he, things in the background he doesn't have a bad bone in his body he's a top man isn't he? he's a top man so he's yeah, lots yeah of love always to nice yep Never, he, he, he's not. He's never nasty. He doesn't have. He's not two faced or anything. He's yeah. really friendly. Yeah, amazing. So thank you, Brandon, for everything you've done for us. Okay, yeah, it was just well. like, yeah, absolutely. All right, so bringing oh, us right up to date then. I don't know if you've got any more memories of of Axis All Errors, or if you just want to tell us about the show that you do now with the Silver Fox Man. 
myself a fox. <laughs> That was Train with t- uh, Drops of Jupiter and the piece we heard before that was an interview from Carl Munson who was once our sponsor of That Says All Aerials. And, and, and you can follow on Facebook. Yeah. Our page, World Show page. Yeah. And you can listen to the in all the interview. Okay, and on that note, let's have a bit more music. <laughs> 